everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm your host and fellow illustrator Van Nguyen and you are watching a brand new video series that I'm calling Artful, where I chat about all kinds of fun topics that pique my interest and try to draw a little bit of inspiration from them. Uh, today I'll be talking about everybody's favorite glazed treat, donuts. I thought this would be a really fun topic to get things rolling because number one, I love donuts. <laughs> and number two, my parents have owned a donut shop for over 20 years. So I have surprisingly intimate insider knowledge of donuts. And number three, donuts have a very interesting history. So sit back, chill out, grab a pencil or a paintbrush if you're feeling pumped, and let's get artful. So I've always been a fan of donuts. I love that they come in all different shapes and colors and makes it super exciting to draw. <laughs> um, but behind their sprinkle covered exterior lies a very mysterious past. I mean, where do they come from? Why do they have a hole in the middle? Um, why do so many Asian people operate donut shops, my parents included? Uh, from my incredibly thorough research on Google, <laughs> the origin story of our humble little donut is weirdly hazy and hotly debated. Uh, some people believe that the donut has been around for a lot longer than you would imagine, simply because the concept of fried dough spans across many cultures for quite a while. Archaeologists have found fossilized pieces of what looks like donuts eaten by prehistoric Native Americans. Honestly, when I read that, I couldn't help but imagine like a Homer Simpson type <laughs> as a prehistoric Native American in his little hut, eating his little donut in front of his prehistoric TV. Um, but anyway, as far as the modern donut that we know of today, um, records show that the Dutch were making something like pretty darn similar to it uh, called oikoix. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> or basically oil cakes, um, which go way back to the mid 19th century. Uh, as they emigrated to the U.S., they brought these tasty little oil cakes with them. And it is actually around this time where we meet a pretty important figure in donut history. Um, a New England ship captain's mother by the name of Elizabeth Gregory. And so she was known for making these super bomb-ass oil cakes <laughs> for her son to take on his long voyages out to sea. And she'd often put like hazelnuts and walnuts in the center where like the dough doesn't really cook all the way through, uh, which kind of explains the word nut in donut. But um, even that tiny little detail is also debated because other historians think that the word nut was originally not, like a knot of dough. A, a do not, <laughs> which honestly sounds really awkward to me. Um, but anyway, so Elizabeth Gregory's son, Captain Gregory, uh, claimed that it was his idea to put the hole in the donut so that when he was using both hands on the wheel of the ship, he could like skewer his mom's donuts on one of the spokes and have like a little bit of a nibble while he was busy steering his ship. He's, you know, he's a go-getter. He's got things to do. He's, he's got to have his hands free. Um, but he has uh, been quoted as saying that he made, quote, the first donut hole ever seen by mortal eyes, end quote. <laughs> um, and that the shape came to him in a dream by angels. I love this. That's just, that's just poetry right there. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like Captain Gregory is either like the most interesting man in the world or 
he's your crazy uncle that like makes up stuff you know what i mean like i can't quite tell if any of this story is true but you know honestly who cares right it's a great story and like donuts deserve like a good origin story i think um it's more likely that captain gregory punched a hole into the donut before frying because you know the center doesn't cook all the way through anyway so like why bother <laughs> um but anyway and also everybody loves donut holes it's like the best i used to think of them as like little donut babies which is kind of cute um <laughs> which reminds me of like this really stupid like jerry seinfeld joke i can't quite remember how he says it so i'm probably gonna butcher it but he was it was basically like why are they called donut holes shouldn't they be called donut plugs yeah it's so stupid but it's true so moving forward we have the first donut machine in 1920 uh, developed by adolf levitt in new york city um, he was actually a refugee from Tsarist Russia and began selling fried donuts from his bakery. Um, his donuts were super popular among like hungry theater crowds near a shop. And they basically were like, hey man, hey donut man, <laughs> like your donuts are dope. Like keep them coming. And that's what he did. He built a machine that became the predecessor of the big conveyor belt. Uh, contraption that you see at Krispy Kreme today and I mean you've you've probably seen them they're like usually behind that big old pane of glass um, and I remember seeing them as a kid and thinking they were just like amazing <laughs> that's just this wonderful conveyor belt of like freshly made donuts it's just so beautiful um, but anyway, in 1934, the World's Fair in Chicago declared the donut the food hit of the century of progress. And that's really kind of the turning point where the donut went like super viral. It wasn't until the 40s and 50s rolled around when you have like Krispy Kreme and Dunkin' Donuts starting up that people began associating donuts as like a breakfast item which is which i thought was kind of crazy but like before that it was just sort of a snack that you ate like at any old time like at the theater or whatever um or in captain gregory's case whenever you're steering a ship <laughs> um but the the reason this breakfast thing happened was due in large part to the coffee that was being readily available at the uh, the bakeries that sold these donuts so naturally coffee and donuts became sort of you know a, a morning staple after that um i think most people will agree that like the donut that we know of today is sort of like this american creation you know it's like hot dogs right um so i found it really interesting that it's like super steeped in like kind of all this immigrant history right like you think about dutch the dutch bringing over their little oily cakes and then there's adolf levitt who comes from russia and he's churning out all these donut machines and then you come to the modern day where I've noticed, and I'm sure most of you have as well, is like a lot of the small donut shops are run by like immigrants, like a lot of Asian Americans. And growing up, I often wondered like why? <laughs> like why did my parents decide to own a donut shop? Like they, they immigrated in the 70s um, to the US and then worked like all these various jobs like in the factories. Um, I think they had like a convenience store at one point, but they finally settled on owning like a donut shop because, well, mainly because the hours were great. Like if you start at 4 a.m., yeah, it's really early, but then you're like kind of done by noon. <laughs> um, and so I think donut shops really appeal to like immigrants because it's just like a super good business model. 
Like I remember telling, or I remember my dad telling me that the overhead costs of a donut shop are like super small. And, and if you can get like some free labor, like from your family, which was definitely the case for me growing up as his daughter, <laughs> then you've got some pretty small, uh, or well, some pretty good profit margins there. Um, my parents bought like a donut shop franchise called Southern Made Donuts um, in the late 80s. And my dad has recently told me that he plans to retire soon, which makes me so sad because I don't know, it feels kind of like the end of an era, <laughs> um, especially since like donuts have been weirdly like a, a big part of my life for such a long time. Like when I think about it, they paid for my college tuition, like donuts paid for my college tuition. <laughs> Um, and every time I step into like any donut shop, like the smell that hits you of like the fried dough and the glaze and all of that just reminds me of like my parents and my super weird childhood, like helping them at the shop. Um, but my, my parents have literally watched other kids like grow up, like eating our donuts and then those people having kids of their own and then bringing those kids to eat our donuts it's just crazy like how long my parents um have operated that shop uh but yeah you'll you'll find a lot of like small donut shops are still mom and pop like family-run businesses which are becoming you know more and more rare these days so I was super excited to draw some donuts today because I really wanted to commemorate my parents' like donut legacy. Um, and I wanted to draw some of my favorite donuts that I usually get whenever I have a craving. Um, I love cinnamon twists and apple fritters. Um, but honestly though, like nothing beats like a simple like glazed donut like especially when it's like fresh out of the fryer and like just oh it just melts in your mouth it's so good um anyway i hope you guys enjoy this video please hit like and subscribe um if you are interested in the artwork it is available as an art print over on my society six and the link is down in the description box so anyway do you like donuts do you have a favorite kind <laughs> are you a coffee dunker or a sprinkles maniac leave a comment down below and i will see you in the next one